Cleanup work continues at the site of a large rock fall in Floyd County that has US 23 reduced to one lane of travel in each direction. And complaints of aggressive drivers in and around the work zone have prompted officials to reduce the speed limit in the area to 45 miles per hour. Coming north and southbound into the zone, there's uh, advance warning on the roadway uh, indicating drivers that there's road work ahead. Uh, second thing you'll see is this uh, 45 mile an hour speed limit sign even before you get into the uh, zone itself. Sergeant Ferris explains his officers as well as Kentucky State Troopers will be visible in the area while the work continues for both safety and enforcement. We've had several complaints of traffic driving extremely fast, hitting cones, following too close. So we're going to be aggressively enforcing those violations. We're going to see both units uh, possibly driving through the work zone, running radar. We could be possibly sitting alongside the road. We could be outside of our cars with handheld lasers, uh, determined by later speed. Officials hope the extra presence of officers in the area will slow down traffic and reduce the instances of aggressive driving, especially during times with higher traffic volumes. Manpower and scheduling providing, I'm going to have as many units out here as I can, particularly in the afternoon and the mornings due to rush hour, everyone commuting into Pikeville and back in the afternoon. Now as far as how long it will take to get the slide cleaned up and the road completely opened, Highway Department officials say it will be several weeks. We think we've located the source of the water. It's not on state property and you know somebody said well you know, can't you all use emergency eminent domain? No, we can't do that. You know, there's certain procedures we have to go through to get right of entry and there's not a road to the site. We can't get equipment to the site. But we think it'll be two months or less before we get this permanently fixed. Reporting in Ival for EKB News, I'm Shannon Diskins.